What's up YouTube, it's Dennis Films here with another tutorial. Today's tutorial is on how to make LUTs in Lightroom. Now the reasons why I switched to Lightroom is because it's so much easier to control each individual color through luminance, hue, and saturation than it is in Premiere Pro. So after you've gone through the whole video and you decided to use Lightroom to color grade, I want you to comment below what are your reasons for switching and how it helped you if it did. Now we're gonna go over where to buy the plugin and then also how to use it and then transfer it to Premiere Pro and put it on your footage. So let's get right into it, guys. Okay, guys, now that we're in the computer, we're gonna start with where you buy the plugin from. Now, it's at johnrellis.com. I will leave a link in the description below so you can get to the website directly. Plugin costs $9.95, which isn't a bad deal if you choose to do this, uh, or you can try it free if you wanna just give it a trial run. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. Let's hop into Premiere Pro. Now, I got my footage in the timeline. That's where you wanna start. Now, find your hero shot in whatever part of the footage you like. So, the hero shot is the best shot that you have in that scene or scenes that you wanna just color grade so it'll match up on a majority of the shot so I'm gonna find my hero shot which I find it where the flare is in the Sun play it up too far about right here about right there now you, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to this little camera icon click on it you're gonna just name it James Jackson and under format, you want to assign it as TIFF. It originally will be JPEG most likely, so just make it TIFF. I have it set to go to my Pre Premiere Pro screen grabs. So I'm gonna click OK. Okay, now we're gonna bring up Lightroom. What you wanna go is library, import, and wherever your file is at, find that. Okay, got the screen grab right here. Now we're gonna import it, develop. So in here, of course, is where the fun begins. I shot this in S-Log2, so there's absolutely no contrast. It's flat image, perfect. So I'm gonna bring that contrast back in. Maybe bring those highlights down a little bit. Bring the shadows. Bring the shadows down. Uh, bring the blacks a little bit. Nah, it's a little too contrasty. Go saturation. Bring saturation up just a little. Now my favorite part, the reason why I switch. So I'm gonna go to hues. I'm gonna play with the colors a little bit, the yellows and oranges and some of the reds. So mm, see right here, his fingertips are changing. Anything that has that orange. So too much red. About right here works on the hue go to yellows no no I want to go green might bring it to a little bit of the reds and the yellows about right there I like that so let's go to luminance darken it let's see what we're working with no so we want to keep that the highlights good play around with <clears throat> with the oranges look right here on the brick is where it's changing I like it a little dark on the brick. Let's see what we can do with this. Boost the saturation up, boost the yellow. The main thing is just experiment. Everything's gonna be different. I knew the idea where I wanted to go with it. I wanted heavy oranges. Might go the highlights a little bit. Boost saturation. Uh, let me do this independent so I can really see it. About right there see what we can do with the shadows and not shadows are pretty much there we go about right there perfect now after this let's say this is the final edit you want to turn off your detail your lens correction oops your effects Transform, pretty much everything that's not Premiere. So all these little minute things, and then also do not use clarity. Clarity cannot be used when you're making when you're making a, a LUT. So I'm not really feeling this yellow. 
strong, heavy yellow. So I'm gonna hue back, eh, keep it red, but maybe it's luminance. Yeah, bring that back. <clears throat> I'm very simple on my color grade. I like, hmm. I like a very clean edit. Nothing crazy. Let's go to temperature, add a little warmth in it. Let me eat plus five. There we go. Bring the hue and the yellow a little bit down. I'm gonna add some more blacks into it. There we go. All right, guys. Now you go to File. You go Plug in Extras. Export LUT. Now, when you get to Export LUT, select Photo. The color profile, the only one that I found that's accurate is the sRGB. And then the quality you want as high as possible. And 64, keep it at, you know, 64 uh, points per channel. Browse is wherever you want to put the light. So let's say, um, let's put it right here. I'm just gonna put it, oh, never mind. Put it in a different color. Let's use that, okay. Now we're gonna export light. It only takes a second, very fast. So we're gonna go back to the Premiere. Now we're gonna put adjustment layer. Go to the bottom right. Click on adjustment layer, okay. Add that in. Let's go to creative. Go to look, browse. And go to LUTs. And then here it is right here. James Jackson, sRGB. And boom. Uh, the only thing is way too much contrast. Gosh. Bring up the exposure. Uh, damn it. Contrast is strong. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna reduce contrast, bring up the exposure a little bit. That looks so much better right there. Check it out one more time, make sure it's right. Sorry about my computer playing slow. I got the recorder, got a lot going on. It's taking a toll on my computer. Perfect, the way I like it. So that's about it guys.